What's up, peeps? Welcome to the Squire Guide. So today I'm going to be telling you how to play Squire, the best tips and tricks for him, how he works. My personal favorite, I don't think he's the best agent in the game, but he's definitely my favorite. As always, guys, can you please subscribe, like, dislike if you want to. And uh, without further ado, enjoy the video. What's up, peeps? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use Squire. It's going to be a complete guide about Squire. He's a Vanguard and they're the just the basic people they don't have anything super special about them but they're not they're not bad they're they're very much so not bad i my most played characters are vanguards is chavez and him for squire i do only have the first two weapons and i have used the javelin in training it's not a bad pistol but i really do think the lance is my favorite and i think it will be the best weapon for a good time to come starting off with his expertise he has three different ones i haven't gotten this one this is a good expertise. It's too big of an area to really matter. So yeah, my personal expertise with this is under pressure and he becomes amped up. Amped up is his passive ability. Well, it's a passive. It's a starting passive where he gets instantly amped up and he, he runs really, really fast for a short period of time and it gets you out of situations. I like under pressure because it allows me to get away whenever I know I'm going to lose a gunfight or I need to chase them and get to their quick. Now eyes on the prize is really good too, because it shows you exactly where everything is in a certain location it's kind of it's kind of awkward it'll only show you on that floor even if you're just below a room that has key cards in it for new players this is great because it shows you where all the key cards are and if you're not used to hearing the jingle that the key cards make it's perfect right so for eyes on the prize you could just be sitting here walking and use this and it would tell you where all the ammo is see it tells you so even ones that are locked behind drawers there's none locked behind drawers right now and it tells you all the intel i think that this is really good ability whenever you're new to the game whenever you start to get more like more playtime in and you get used to it you're going to know how to find key cards and such you're just gonna know where they are it's kind of kind of an ability that like you start to you start to ditch whenever you're more seasoned in this game switch over to his my favorite expertise which uh, i'll show you how i'll show you how his third expertise works as well danger sense so danger sense is pretty good but i'll show you off here why i think it's too big of an area so it goes right here and this covers a huge amount of area see it's it tells you you're safe down here and you run up some more and then it tells you when they're near and what i mean is it's too big of a like a place is that it's right here the problem is most maps aren't exactly huge they're not small, but f covering a surface of area like that is just, is not likely. I mean, whenever you're going to find them in security rooms anyway, it's, there's not very much reason to use this. My expertise that I like to run under pressure, let's say you're getting into a shot and you're already amped up. You ran out, you're amped up. You want to, you, he's, he's on your tail. So you want to run. It lasts longer than whenever, if you were just to get shot and it's great for escaping. I mean, if you combine these with the bounce pads, it could be like a really good escape, but I do not use those uh, bounce pads. I use the mimic and the umbrella shield, but that's because those are great. That's another video though. Yeah. To show off Squire's weapon, I will spawn someone. See, they die pretty quick. It takes around three or four headshots, I think, depending on if you're facing someone with 115 health, 100 health. Um, I'm pretty sure Chavez is the only one with 115, but I could be wrong. I'm still kind of into this game, but I do love it. His pistol is very consistent. The Lance is very, very good. Actually, almost too consistent because they nerfed his gun. It used to have 12 bullets in a magazine. Now it only has 10. But I do believe that it does not change the effectiveness. I think it is really, really good still. Just missing your shots is very easy in this game sometimes so make sure you hit them the trident's pretty good too i don't think it's terrible see it's good it's just not perfect it just doesn't feel as consistent as the other one as the lance we will go to the javelin now to show it's also pretty good too but it it hits kind of like a like a diet version of Chavez's revolver. It's not bad. The TTK is really fast too. It's just you really want to make sure you hit your shots, but I think the Lance is the best. It is all personal preference. If you like three round burst weapons, use the Trident by all means. Javelin's not bad. I think the Lance is the best. I haven't played with the Javelin in an actual game. I'll get some, you know, I'll get some games in with the Javelin, of course, uh, like I just like I did with the Trident. But when I played the Trident, played with the Trident, um, 
just unlucky engagements. It was good, but unlucky engagements. As far as anything else goes for Squire, Sixth Sense isn't bad. All right, so that's the end of the How To Squire video. I think that Sixth Sense isn't bad. I think that being able to see someone through walls after they shoot you is good, especially being able to run away. You can combine this with his expertise of being under pressure and use his amped up ability and get away or you could use it for offense but i think this squire is pretty straightforward i like him a lot his kit makes sense his kit's good his gun's good his expertise is good um it's all up to player skill pretty much after that there's nothing to really like hold your hand definitely not the best agent but he is my favorite agent and my most played agent um yeah He's great. That's all, guys.